Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this is the last topic of unit number 6 of the subject microcontrollers. So today's topic is interfacing RTC that is real time clock and EEPROM with PIC microcontroller 18F XXXX. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. List out the features of uh, either RTC or features of EEPROM and draw the diagram of either RTC or uh, diagram interfacing diagram of EEPROM. So first, let us discuss real-time clock. The corresponding IC is DS1307. It is a real-time clock used to provide the real-time clock or calendar for many applications. Now, I have listed out some important features of this RTC. It supports I2C two-wire interface. We have already discussed in earlier video the uh, basic things related to I2C. The crystal frequency is 32.768 kHz. It keeps tracks of seconds, minutes, then hours, date, day, month, along with the consideration of leap year. Then it stores data using 56 byte battery backed non volatile RAM. It generates programmable stored square wave signal. Next feature is it has built in power failure uh, power sensing circuit. So it automatically detects the power failure and battery backup will be started. So it automatically switches to battery supply. Then the clock operates in either two modes like 12 hour mode or 24 hour mode along with the indication of AM and PM. It consumes less than 500 nano amperes in battery backup mode with oscillator running. The address and data are basically transmitted serially through I2C bidirectional bus and the industrial operational uh, temperature range is minus 40 degree to plus 85 degree. So these are some features of RTC. This diagram shows interfacing of RTC with PIC 18F. This is the PIC microcontroller 18F. In this case, to get the information related to uh, day, time and so on, we are using 16 into 2 LCD. We have already learned interfacing of LCD with PIC 18F. In this case, this LCD, which is 16 by 2 device, is connected to port C of PIC 18F. So pin number RC0 to pin number RC7 are connected to pins D0 to D7 of LCD to get and display. Then we have already discussed RS, read write pin and enable pin. These are connected to port B pins RB0, RB1 and RB2. These things are common to all interfacing diagrams. We have to connect uh, crystal source between OSC1 and OSC2 terminal. And this is uh, master clear or reset terminal. Then this is DS1307, uh, which is RTC. It is connected to pin RD3 and RD4. That is uh, port D of PIC 18F microcontroller. For this, we have to connect one crystal that is 32.768 uh, kilohertz. So this is the simplified diagram. We already learned the uh, significance of HDA as well as sequential time clock. In this case, when we are using it with I2C bus, then on I2C, RTC is acting as a slave device. We will do start condition and by providing device identification code, followed by register address but means first we will have to provide the start condition then we will have to identify the device which should be followed by the register address this rtc can be accessed till execution of a stop bit so this is the generalized interfacing diagram of rtc next important part is eeprom that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory from the exam point of view we may expect <clears throat> the features of EEPROM and interfacing diagram of EEPROM. So, 8024C04A, this EEPROM has 4096 bits of serial, electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory, that is EEPROM. It supports I2C, that means it is compatible with I2C as well. So, it supports two-wire serial interface. 
द वोल्टेज रेंज इज अ मीडियम वोल्टेज रेंज एज वेल एज स्टैंडर्ड वोल्टेज रेंज इट इज फ्रॉम फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एंड स्टैंडर्ड इज टू पॉइंट सेवन टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट देन इट हैज हार्डवेयर डेटा प्रोटेक्शन सो यूजिंग राइट प्रोटेक्ट पिन वी कैन सेफ गार्ड द हार्डवेयर देन इट इज बेसिकली बाय डायरेक्शनल डेटा ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल इट सपोर्ट्स एट बाइट एंड सिक्सटीन बाइट पेज राइट मोड्स basically it supports more than 1 million <coughs> erase and write cycles the maximum self timed write cycle is 5 milliseconds the clock compatibility is around <coughs> 100 kilohertz and 400 kilohertz it retains data up to 100 years and it is available in 8 lead pdip soic and tssop packages so this is about the important features of eeprom now spi interfacing of eeprom we have already studied uh, the spi interface in detail in the earlier video this diagram shows how to interface eeprom uh, using spi mode so spi interface has one master device usually it is a microcontroller and it controls the peripheral device in this case peripheral is eeprom as shown in this diagram and this pic microcontroller is a master device so read write operations takes place by using control signals it includes the control signals also includes address and data bits for write operation eeprom stores the data in this case usually the write command is used which is followed by address and the data for read write operations we are using this cs clk mosi and miso spi lines so this shows the typical interfacing connections of eeprom uh, with pic 18f microcontroller so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video